Hi everyone, Mr. H here. So good to see you again. So today we're gonna to do another lesson with solfege. And I know we've been doing a lot of solfege. I'm sure some of you remember doing our Do Re Mi song with the choir last year, or at least learning it. Well, I wanted to keep on going because solfege is a very good way to teach you guys the notes of the scale and also how music works. So today we're gonna to talk about something very specific, steps and skips. And to help me explain steps and skips, I actually had a friend of mine, Mrs. Farwell, who also teaches music, uh, make a little video explaining it. And so she's gonna, uh, we're gonna watch that video, and we're even gonna see a little tool that's gonna help you learn your solfege and practice steps and skips. So let's watch. But every so often, I'm gonna talk and see if you guys are paying attention. So let's make sure we got that. Here we go. Hi everyone, it's time for some more solfege. Get your hands ready, you even if you think, I don't remember those hand signs, Mrs. Farwell. I don't care, try them anyway. Thank you. Here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Good job, Nicely thank done. you for doing it with me. Here's what I was doing. I've shown a few of you this already in our live classes, uh, but I took a popsicle stick and I wrote out all my solfege notes. Sing along with me. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. That way, if I don't want to do all of them, I can look and I can decide which patterns I want mm. to sing. Let's see if you guys can figure out my pattern. Here we go. And when you figure it out, Period start ready. singing along with me, okay? Do, re, do, re, mi, re, do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Very good. Oh, that took a while. We added one in until Shake we got all hands. eight of them left. Uh, we could also do patterns that we don't take steps. We could skip. That's the other thing you can do in solfege. You can step. That's if you're going to one to the very next one, either above or below it. Or I could skip. Like if I skip from me to so, there's a skip. So, me, so, me, so, me, so, me. Those were all skips. If I wanted to do steps, I could go la, so, la, so, la, so. That's a step. So we have two really important ways we can sing, with skips and with steps. Which one is this? Let's do, see. mi, so, mi, do. Step or skip? Those were skips, because I was skipping re and I skipped fa. Was this step or skip? Let's see. Mi, re, do. Those were steps, because I went from me, I took a step to the one right next to it, I took a step right to it again. So usually when we sing our solfege scale, we are doing all steps. We're going in order. But if I leave some out, do, mi, so, do, then I'm skipping. So steps and skips. I bet you guys could find something like this in your house. Maybe you have a popsicle stick. If you don't, I bet you have a piece of paper or something. You should copy this and see if you can make one. And that way, you can do this at home without me. Let's sing it one more time, and then Here I have go. to go because I need to go teach another live class. Here we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Awesome, guys. I can't wait to see what designs you come up with to make your soul to write down.
All right, we're gonna pause it there and we're actually gonna move on to the next part. So before we talk about all the sticks and all the stuff that we got right there, I wanna talk really quick about, remember, steps and skips. So a step, if you look at the picture on the right, is when you go from one note to the next without skipping any in the order. So going do, re, mi, re, do is moving through steps because do is next to re and re is next to mi. And when we go backwards, mi is next to re and re is next to do. But if we did do, mi, so, mi, do, we call those skips because we're skipping to in between. Do is not next to mi, there's re in between. So we skipped re and went to mi, and then we skipped fa and went to sol. So when you listen to some music, if it sounds do, 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 those are usually steps, but if it sounds do, 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 those are usually skips. And we use both when we make our music. Now, I would like you guys, just for your own fun, if you can, to make your own solfege stick. If you notice the uh, popsicle stick that Ms. Farwell had, it's one of those really big ones. If you can't find those, you can either try using a smaller one or do what we have right here. We have an index card where we put do, re, mi, and so on and so on on the excuse me, on the lines so that you can see all of them in order. Or if you want to do some drawing, if you're a really good artist, you can take a piece of paper, draw some steps, and put different colors for each solfege uh, letter. That way, not only do you know the order of solfege from bottom to top, but you can use it to start making your own music, steps and skips. All right, well, I hope you had fun with this lesson. It's time for me to go, but I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.